What is going on guys? This is again Shrakes from Smart Herd. Welcome to 27th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you about modules in Ruby. Now, let's come to the features of modules. You can group together methods, classes and constants in a single module. So, it is a way of grouping together these things, methods, classes and constants. Second, it provides a namespace and prevent name clashes. This name clashes means you can have two methods of the same name in two different modules. It won't clash. Modules can implement the mixin facility. We will have the tutorial on this mixin facility later on guys. No need to worry about this statement. Now, let's see the syntax of the modules. Like class's name starts with a capital letter. Similarly, the module name starts with a capital letter and the syntax is module space module name and this is the end. This is the content of the module. We will write the content of the module in this white space. Next, constants in the module is always starts with a capital letter. It is similar to the constants of the classes guys. Next, what is the syntax of defining a method in a module? The syntax is like this def space module name. This module name is the same what you have defined the module name here which is followed by a dot operator then followed by a method name. It is a user defined method. You can write whatever you want. My method, method 1, 2, 3 like that. Then it is having a parameter. It is optional. It's up to you. Now, this is the syntax of accessing the constant within the module. Module name, double colon, then bad. This is a constant we have defined inside the module name. Now, this putters will print the value 1 here. Now, next, how to access this method? method underscore name from outside this module like we have access this constant from outside the module now let's check the syntax the syntax is like this module name which is the same module name which is which i have defined here which is followed by dot operator then again method name this is the method name which we have defined here then we are passing the parameter like this module underscore name double colon bad this value is actually one we are passing the value of one to this variable x now let's check out the codes for modules in Ruby. Here I have created a RB file trick.rb. You can name it as you want. Now let's begin our coding. Let's define our module trick which is a capital letter starting from capital letter. Now let us define a constant pi equal to like 3.1416 up to 4 decimal I have defined. Now let us define a method name trig followed by dot operator dot sign function it's user defined guys you can define as you want then within that we are having the block of codes like put us math dot sign within this x now this math dot sign this math is a predefined module this is already defined and within this module predefined module we are having the sign function so it is going to evaluate the sign of x so it is going to print math dot sign x which is the sign of x now let us define another method like this only yes df now this time i think we should go for cos put as math dot cos this is going to evaluate the value of cos x and print it here now let's access the constant pi from outside this module how to do it put us trick double colon pi now let's save it and execute it if I'm not wrong it is going to print out 3.1416 yes here we go we are getting the output as 3.1416 as expected now let us access this trick dot sign function from outside the module what is the syntax guys please recall now let us write trig dot sign func within this let us pass 0 sign 0 is 0 save it and execute it yeah here we go we are getting trig dot pi equal to 3.1416 and sign func 0 we are sending 0 to here then again math dot sign 0 sign 0 is always 0 so we are getting the output as put as 0 now 
In similar way, we can access this trick.cause function also from outside the module, like we have accessed the trick.signFunc0. Now, what if, if we define a, another module in the same Ruby file? Now, let us define a module. Let's say this time Mural, right? Pretty boring stuff, Mural. <laughs> Now let's define a constant very underscore bad equal to zero. Then let's say bad equal to one. Now let us define a method def space moral dot sign func. I am writing the sign func to clarify one thing, guys. I will tell you right now. Badness level okay now if bracket badness level equal to equal to zero then put us you are very bad else put us you are just bad right now let us access this moral dot sign function outside this module how to do it what is this error coming syntax error end of file yeah we have to put an end here also if else then end now let's access this method outside this module how to do it let's write moral dot sign func within this let's pass the parameter like moral double colon let's write bad yeah now let's save it and execute it you are just bad we are getting the three outputs like this let's just call it up let me explain you what's going on here we have defined this module moral here in which we are having two constants very bad equal to zero bad equal to one now we have defined this moral dot sign func now one thing you will notice guys this sign func method and here in module trig also we are having the sign func method as i told you guys the module prevent clashes of the method even we are having the methods of the same name but it won't clash these both will have its independent existence we can utilize it as as per our wish now outside this module we are calling this moral dot sign funks moral double colon bad and moral double colon bad is what one so we are passing the parameter one value of one to this sign func so value of one is getting here to this variable badness level so if badness level equal to equal to zero you are very bad but this time it is not equal to zero it is equal to one so we are getting the output like this you are just bad so guys pretty easy hope you guys understand what you saw please subscribe to my channel please leave a comment below my video and catch you guys in next tutorial thank you